What's up guys, Justin Fear with another poorly reviewed beer. So if you've been watching the channel, you know that last week I reviewed Bell's Brewery's Oarsman Ale. And I realized that a fellow beer reviewing YouTuber of mine, Rod J, his channel link will be in the description below, also recently did a Bell's beer. He did the, the Amber Ale. And so that led to discuss some discussion between us and a couple other uh, folks in his comment section. And digging through my fridge, I realized I still have one more Bell's beer in my fridge. And so I figured I'd break it out. This is their Oberon Wheat Ale. Uh, notes from the brewery. Oberon is a wheat ale fermented with our signature house yeast, mixing a spicy hop character with mildly fruity aromas. The addition of wheat malt lends a smooth mouthfeel, making it a classic summer beer. Made with only four ingredients and without the use of any spices or fruit, Oberon is the color and scent of sunny afternoon. 5.8% ABV. So let's go ahead and give it a pour. Spilled a little bit of it, but it happens. All right. Still a little bit in there and try to get some of the stuff from the bottom. It's a, a hazy pale gold color. I can see a whole lot of uh, material sitting in the, or kind of swirling around through the through the glass. Uh, maybe it's dissipated just a bit, but it was probably originally close to two fingers of head. Try to get a little bit more in here. I'm sure all the good stuff's in the bottom. Yeah, kind of a, a lemony color. If I had to make a description, I think it's a pale gold or pale wheat somewhere around there, but I would call that almost like a lemon color. Let's go ahead and give it a try. A little bit of spicy graininess, spiciness and graininess together. Um... Maybe just a hint of lemon. I was expecting a little more citrus, to be honest. But as they say, they kind of they aim for uh, no spices or fruit. Really, just kind of the the key components of uh, of making beer. Yeah, just a, maybe a little bit of a a faint lemon thing towards the, the very back, but uh, a very very mild sweetness as well. A little bit of bitterness as well. A little bit of bitterness coming out of those hops. Uh, again, surprisingly more than I expected. This uh, this can of beer isn't that old. It's certainly within the the six month shelf life that, that uh, Bell's recommends. But it's uh, tasting a little different than the than the last time I remembered. It's probably been a few months since I've had one. It tastes a little different than what I remember. I would agree that it is smooth in the mouthfeel. Um, and again, it's it's fairly fairly clean finish. So again, there's still a little bit of uh, a hot bitterness hanging around. Also, just kind of a a little bit beer like, which I think is not necessarily a bad thing for a, a summer afternoon. It's still on the warm side here in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. So uh, it's still a, a serviceable beer for even this time of year. Today's the first day of fall, but we're still getting those temperatures that make this a uh, serviceable beer. Uh, yeah, Bell's Oberon. Uh, pretty tasty. Nice nice summer beer. Uh, you can find all of our reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. All those links will be in the description below. Again, along with uh, the YouTube channel for Rod J and his beer reviews. That's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.